Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad iPad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, it is time for another Tinkercad iPad tutorial. Of course, I choose sign in with Google. We're gonna go from designs, we're gonna hit plus, and we're gonna choose 3D design to get into our new project. Friends, if you check this out, there's a brand new design power up. If you hold this and stretch, it can scale and it can snap the rotation to one axis. That sounds pretty sweet. We'll try it out today. So the first things, friends, is to name it. We're going to make a turtle. I'm going to do this entire project using just the built-in. I am not going to enable my external keyboard. So you can see what it's like to complete a project like that. Friends, we are going to build with the half sphere. We're going to use that sweet modifier to stretch it to Crazyville. And then click on one of those boxes, backspace. And I'm going to tell you the number that we want is 60. Now, remember, if you drag down, you get the numbers. It's super duper slick. And bam, that's going to be our turtle shell. Now, it's too darn high, so we're going to grab it. You can change it to whatever number. I'm going to tell you the right number if your backspace is just 15. So there's the 1. Pull down. There's the 5. Let's hit OK. And friends, there's your turtle shell. Now, if you're going to make it look like a turtle, you're going to have to pick a turtle color. You can use any of the greens or, are you ready for this? You can also switch to custom and drag it to wherever you want along the slider to get the color you think is most epic. If you ever want to reuse that number, it's the numbers over here to get it again. We are going to use this same piece for the head. So what we're going to do is hit duplicate. We're going to bring the head out here. We're going to hold this modifier and we're going to squeeze it down until it's a size we think is pretty good. That does need to be taller though, so I'm going to click on it. I'm going to use Fit View to zoom in. That lets me find that handle and raise it up to what I think is a good height for the turtle's head. Notice I'm going to do the two-figure pinch to zoom out. Friends, I'm going to take that head and I'm going to push it into the spot that I think looks pretty cool. We are not going to be perfect with this. We are just going to have fun with it. Alrighty, friends, let's make a foot. It is so slick. Same trick. Drag it out. Hold the modifier and then squish it till you think it is foot size. I'm going to have to pull it out because I got it tucked in there too far. I'm going to squish it a little more. Let's do that fit view to zoom up. I'm going to raise it a little higher. If you want to customize these measurements, you can have fun with it. It is your turtle, so I'm not going to force you to do any measurements. I'm just giving you ideas that I think are pretty cool. Notice if I do two at a time, that works as well. So that is foot one. I love it. I'm going to come over here now, and I'm going to bring out this little guy called the paraboloid. It's going to be a toenail. Once again, shift shrink. Oops, I missed. No big deal, but I could hit undo. Let's do it again. There's shift shrink. If we do fit view... I'm going to zoom just a little bit different. If we drag that in, it makes a pretty neat toenail. You find the spot that you think is great. Right now I'm going to change my nudge to 0.25. I think that's the spot I want. Let's do the pinch. These can be one hand or a two hand. And I'm going to click on that little guy and hit duplicate again. I'm going to nudge him over. Let's zoom in a little more. This time I'm going to use plus and get it to the exact spot I want. I'm going to drag these over so I can see a little better. And let's do this one more time. Duplicate. And I'm going to put it right here. I think those are absolutely awesome. So I'm going to make them a group. Click one, two, three, four. Notice it says four shapes. And I'm going to choose group. They turn all one color, which is a drag, right? But we're going to click right here and choose multicolor. And bam, we have got a foot for our turtle. Now, I'm going to hide this right here so I have more room to play. Alrighty, everybody, with that foot created, are you ready? Duplicate. Nudge the other one straight across. We are going to hit mirror. This thing is fantastic. We can just hit the arrows, and it flips the other way. Notice it may take a couple clicks. You can arrange it afterwards to get it perfect. I'm going to do this for both at once for the back legs. So I'm going to do the modifier. So I've got two of them. Once again, we're going to hit duplicate. This time, I'm going to move the duplicate to the back. Let's spin around so we can see it from that side. And we are going to flip it as well. This time, we're going to flip it over on this arrow. I'm going to zoom in and bam! 
we have got a turtle with awesome little toes. Isn't that fun? Now the next thing is to add a mouth. Now to add it at the correct angle, we're going to use a super smart trick. We're going to bring out a cube and notice this flat place is where we want that mouth to show up. So what we're going to do is put the work plane on that flat piece. We're going to bring out a piece of scribble. In scribble, we're going to make a wonderful smile. And being able to touch the screen is a fantastic skill when you're making this. All right, friends, so let's spin that around and let's make it smaller. If I click on this little arrow, you can see currently it's 10. I'm going to backspace over all that, and I'm going to tell you that a good number is 2 or 3. I'm also going to make it a color that's cooler. I'm going to use a pink, and let's arrange this so it's getting close to our turtle. So I'm going to push it over there. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground. I'm going to click back on that cube, and I'm going to hit delete. And I'm going to just nudge this back to my turtle. So there I'm grabbing it and getting it close to his face. Let's do fit view to zoom in. I don't want to move the head, so I'm going to lock the head. That's a fantastic tool as you're arranging. So now I can click this, get it right in the middle, squish it to the right height. I'm going to use this black handle over here to make it a little skinnier and just move it till I'm exactly happy with its placement on my turtle. Orbit. Now we need to rotate this a little. So we're going to go to this angle right here and there is our rotation. You can rotate it any number of degrees you want. I did negative 20. I'm going to lower it down using the cone. Notice if you miss, just try again. When you get it, then you can bring them out to exactly the way you want them. If you ever don't like it, you can just do undo. This piece is not working at the moment, so I'm going to hide it. That way I can see better. Now I can get it exactly where I want it. Takes a few tries, but with a little patience, it can turn out pretty darn awesome. All right, friends, for eyes, we are going to go with a simple sphere. When you bring this out, don't forget, hold the shift and squeeze it down to a tiny size. Don't worry that that's in the way. I'm going to tell you that the number that we want to type for this eyeball, backspace, and we're going to put four until it OK. Now, this is hidden. If you can see the cone, you can still try and lift it up. If you miss, we're just going to hide that part, and now we can lift it up. Notice I also locked the belly, so it's just one more piece that I can make sure I don't grab. I got the eyeball that time. I'm going to make it white. Let's bring everything back. And you can see that was a pretty good guess. I'm going to look at it from the top. I want to move it out just a little bit, so I'm just grabbing the white part there. I'm going to look at it from the side and make sure I've got it selected. Notice the more you practice with these handles, the better you get at it. When you've got one eye that you're happy with, simply hit Duplicate and then drag the other one straight across. I am going to nudge that to the spot that I think is pretty darn nifty. Friends, at this point, I'm going to call that the end of our project. If you've made it this far, you're fantastic. Now, if you want to keep playing, you can go down to Creatures and Characters. You could add Customize like this. I always think these are grumpy. Mustache, glasses, funny feet, hands. You can do anything you want as you play with your Curl Turtle and make him more and more epic. There are so many items you can find in here that are just fun. Hats, explore, see what you can do to make your turtle the most epic one ever. Now friends, when you do finish, don't forget Tinkercad saves automatically. So as soon as you click right there, it is saved. Now if you want to get notifications, the step is simple. Hit Properties and give it a description. Make sure you give it a tag. I'm going to type Turtle. If you want to mention the tutorial, you can. Make sure you make it public. And then I always say no derivatives because we want everybody to get through the tutorials. Much more cool than if they're just copying your designs. After a moment, your turtle will appear on the screen and then hopefully they will give you an awesome reaction. Of course, don't forget, make sure you give other people reactions as well. You can always find other people's projects by clicking up on the gallery. These will be the staff picks. And then also, don't forget to check out recent 
you will see all kinds of amazing designs. And if you think something's pretty awesome, like, oh my gosh, that's pretty cool, make sure you click on it and tell them, wow, that was awesome. Friends, I hope you are having a ton of fun with your iPad and Tinkercad as you gain a bunch of useful design skills. Of course, friends, don't forget, if you have a question, comment, or a suggestion, you can visit my website, hlmodtech.com. You can click this messaging tool right here and instantly leave your question, comment, or suggestion. I do also want to recommend, friends, the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.